Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yaxity Gaming, everybody, as once more we are going to pick up our Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB 15, the show. So as you know, last time out, we kind of clinched the division finally here with a few games remaining on the season. So now we take a look at who our opponents could be. The Red Sox are seven back, so they should be in a wild card position. You've got the Tigers over there in the Central Division, so they might be the weakest to battle. The Angels, of course, are 87 and 69. And then you've got the Mariners and Red Sox battling it out for the wild card. So depending on what happens, we could see the Cleveland Indians factor into the wild card chase, but it looks like it'll be a Red Sox Mariners AL wild card play down and then potentially move on to face us in the AL Divisional Series. So that is just a quick look at that. We'll take a look at the awards race, where Troy Tulowitzki sits in second behind Miguel Cabrera, who has 47 home runs and 123 RBI. But really what's leading him is that 336 average. So DeAndre Navarro is the Cy Young candidate. We all know about this glitch, weird situation here, whatever. And then Daniel Norris in for reliever of the year. No, that's Roberto Osuna. You see he has no pitching stats so far. And is there anything else I need to show you? Troy Tulowitzki, Silver Slugger. Josh Donaldson could be the Silver Slugger for third base if Kyle Seager lets up. And looks like DeAndre Navarro is a Silver Slugger. So that's all we really need to show for there. And then let's take a look at our pitching rotation. 10 and 9, 15 and 8, 0 and 0, 13 and 13, and 12 and 5. So Dickey and Burley have both gotten upgrades back to 76 and 75 respectively. Just because they have had decent seasons, they are definitely not 70 overalls. And they just need to be boosted back up. Same with Jose Bautista who is now an 84 instead of an 80 overall again. So here we go, let's finish up. Let's go to this last game against uh, Baltimore, finish it up and go against Tampa Bay, where we win and lose and win. So our offense still very potent here, five and four and eight to two, so pretty incredible. And waiver period ended, what, uh, waiver period, okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and jump into this game with Mark Burley on the mound against the Tampa Bay Rays. Mark Burley takes to the mound and we will play our lock as, how about Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Yeah, since he is the DH type guy. So we'll go ahead and jump into the game. Burley is 12 and five on the year, 3.78 ERA, 190 innings pitched, and a 201 hits on the season and only 39 walks. So he's been quite incredible, 97 strikeouts only. So he's used a lot of ground balls, fly balls, pop-ups, you know, that kind of stuff to get out of innings. He hasn't quite been the strikeout pitcher of old, but he isn't even known as a strikeout pitcher, so that's all good. Here we go, Anthony Alford draws a walk and looks like we have the bases loaded with two out for Vladimir Guerrero Jr his first MLB action here in September. And he's going to fly this one out into center or left field. This one's deep. This one's deep. No, it's actually very shallow. Never mind. This Guerrero flies out to left field. So here we go. The Rays will take the field and of course we'll just skip through and they scored a run there in the bottom half of the first inning. So now it's up to us to try and score another run as Guerrero will lead off this inning. And he'll wave at the knuck curve just a little bit too late, or too early, and then I guess it was too bad, so sad. He's going to drill this one into right field now, and that's going to drop into the right fielder's glove for an out. So Guerrero really not getting solid contact on the ball, and that will be another out. So now the Blue Jays have scored two runs here, and it's the top of the sixth. And Guerrero is batting for a third time today. Here we go. Inside for a ball, so Guerrero finally showing a little bit of patience, waiting on that one. And will he do the same here? He's going to fly this one into the seats in shallow right. 
And in comes pitch number three of the about. He's going to fly this one shallow right into the seats again. Looks like the trop is really, really quiet today. Lots of seats unfilled here. And this changeup is fouled off by Guerrero. So four pitches into this at bat. Here we go. Let's go pitch number six. Oh, it's a curveball that almost spikes his feet there. And let's try and get pitch number six to go somewhere. Oh, we'll just follow it off. Why not? There we go. And pitch number seven. Guerrero really fighting up here in this at bat. He's going to ground into the shortstop who will fire over to first base and that will be a quick out right there as soon as he put it in play. And we'll fast forward to what? The top of the eighth now with a runner on first base. So Guerrero has a chance maybe knock him around if he can get a double or something. But that will be inside for a ball. So Guerrero still not on base at all today. And that is really not a good sign. I mean, what more can you expect from a 55 overall going up against Major League Pitching? But, as a September call-up, he's expected to get in his at-bats, get in good work, and maybe get a hit or two. Swinging right through the slider right there, so one and two the count. So can we get something? Oh, here we go. Fouls it off, good timing, but it was just a little bit too high to ride out there to left field for a home run. One and two the count still. And oh, by the tip of the bat there, end of the bat just barely falls it off. But good timing, so our timing is there. And another foul ball right there. So Guerrero really showing some discipline here, and he's fouled off. Wow, a lot of sliders. He'll take that slider for ball number two. Really, he should already have a walk. But, two and two the count. So here we go. The Blue Jays really need a good up battle to grow. They're getting it. And he'll follow this one off. So the Blue Jays really coming back to life here. 2 1 in the score in the top half of the eighth. Outside for a ball. So Guerrero getting his work in here. That is pitch number 10 in the up bat coming up. Dwight Smith Jr. on deck. Here we go. And he swings through it and misses it for strike number three. Yeah. So Mark Burley goes six innings, gives up one earned run, and looks like nobody got pinch hit for in this game. But looks like Dalton Palme had a sacrifice, and Anthony Alford and Almanzar had the two RBIs of the game. Bull Schultz had a hold, so did Steve Delabar, and Roberto Osuna had his 52nd save of the year. Guys, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to this edition of the Toronto Blue Jays Franchise Mode here on Yaxi Gaming. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. If not, leave a like on the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. So long from Yaxi.